Thank you very much, Jesse. Tua Tungavailoa was not 100% in the last game. He was still 24 of 27, but he faced arguably the worst defense in the Power Five in Oklahoma. Now he's going to face a much better defense in Clemson. They'll probably ask him to run around a little bit more. Yeah. What do you expect from Clemson? I'm going to expect uh, for him to play well. One of the things I love about this matchup, the fourth year in a row now that we're seeing Alabama and Clemson, I think this is the most talent combined we've had at the quarterback position. Tua all season, we know, has been magnificent. He's a Heisman runner-up, but we know that mobility really really is a big part of his game. And you watched him play against Oklahoma, as you mentioned, Farhan. The ankle looks pretty good. Yep. He's going to need that mobility against probably the best pass rush in college football of the Clemson Tigers. He's extremely accurate throwing the football downfield. Jalen Hurts last year only threw for 120 yards against Clemson. The year before, only 155 yards. I expect Tua to have a big day against an excellent defense, but he's going to need that mobility. Let's talk about the other quarterback, Trevor Lawrence from Clemson, a true freshman. Now, look, you played as a true freshman at Florida in those big games with those big crowds. Trevor Lawrence has shown no freshman type mistakes, no. but this is Alabama. What do you expect from him tonight? I think he's going to play well, and you're right. He just doesn't play like a true freshman. There's so many programs, if they had a quarterback, a true freshman, playing a game like this, of yeah. this magnitude against this kind of opponent, they would want to really kind of hold their hand early in the game, run the ball, short throws, get him in the flow. Throughout the course of the year, I think Trevor Lawrence has proven to this coaching staff they can be aggressive early in games and come out throwing, and I expect them to do that. We know about the arm talent. We know about the accuracy, but when you watch him on tape, he reads coverages. He sees where pressures are coming from, changes protections. He's excellent making decisions in the run pass option game in the zone read game as well. He's earned the right for them to be aggressive. It's amazing to think a true freshman has this team right now 14 and 0 playing for a national championship front. I think in 12 years covering college football at ESPN, it's the most impressive thing I've seen. I expect Lawrence to play great tonight. Hey, and in terms of talent, as far as quarterbacks, the most anticipated game, maybe since 2006 when Matt Leinert went, met in the Rose Bowl yeah. against Vince Young, and we know that was an epic game. Look for the same tonight. For Jesse Palmer, I'm Farhan Lalji.